Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm the Bearded OG, and this is the Insane Nightmare series. Uh, the bulk, if not the entirety, of today's episode is going to be, um, excuse me, um, improving, building up, and improving our new horde base. And so I have spent quite a bit of time off camera. As you can see, it's now day 67. Um, mostly mining and gathering resources. And I, I started doing a little bit of work at the Horde Base, uh, which I showed you in the opening montage, but uh, we still have quite a bit more work to do. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with this. I'm going to grab um, all <clears throat> of the explosives that I currently have um, ready to go uh, and just take them out there so they're there. Uh, I might make a few more, too. We'll see how, how things go with that. And um, let me see. I don't think I have any more steel here. Well, I've got a couple of pieces, but I want to kind of keep those there for crafting purposes. This forge is pretty much exclusively making iron for us because we need iron for the grenades, among other things. And then I have four forges, all four forges that are in our underground smelting cave are now working on steel. Uh, so I made crucibles and bellows and all that kind of stuff for those guys. And I think I have pretty much everything in the four by that we need. Um, yeah, let's just park this inside the compound. One of you guys mentioned to me in the comments about maybe putting like a ramp underneath here to get the four by in. So that's something we might uh, try and do when we get opportunity. So yeah, let's just put all of this stuff in, in there for now. But as you can see, I've got lots of cobble, lots of concrete, um, 878 steel. Um, I'm also planning on uh, trying out uh, fence posts uh, for this build too, uh, essentially to stun the zombies and further prevent them from, uh, you know, doing damage. Now, I'm, it's questionable as to how necessary that's actually going to be just because of the design of this base, but it certainly can't hurt. Um, also note that I, and I showed, I think I showed you this in the opening montage. I bought a perception mod and we looted, I, I didn't even notice this in the last episode, but I noticed it later. We looted this blue uh, Nerd Goggles hat, which has 10% uh, XP gain. And so we will wear this, and it's heavy armor too, uh, so we will wear that on the Horde Knight for the extra XP gain and uh, the extra perception. I still need, as far as that goes, um, I have put a couple of points that could be just because I wanted to, to use them while I was working. Um, but, you know, we still need to get these two points in perception. So we need five more points to get that to nine. And then on the Horde Night, when we wear that hat, we'll have an effect of 10, and then we can max out a Demolitions Expert in particular. That's a plan for that. Uh, we won't get that done by the start of this next Horde, but we probably, if we get the same amount of points that we did the first time around, and I'm expecting more points because the design's going to be better, you know, then we should be able to easily achieve that. As far as the points that I took, um, I put another point in 69er. And then I put, um, I max out living off the land, and I believe I put a point in pain tolerance or healing factor, I think. Maybe. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember now. Um, so that's where we're sitting with the points, and we're almost to the next level, uh, you know, for even more points. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and head out uh, to the base and start working out there. We have a half a day. It's uh, it's pretty much pointless to try and work in the wasteland at night, as you guys saw in the previous episode. <laughs> it just, you know, they they're just relentless. The zombies do not stop coming. So, you know, whatever we get done today, we'll have to stop at nighttime and get the hell out of there, and then you know finish it up. We still have you know three more days before the next horde. So, but you know, I've just been doing a lot of working, gathering, mining, farming all that kind of stuff. And um, as soon as I get this horde base, you know, so that it's good to, to go, 
I want to get back to, you know, some more questing and doing POIs and stuff. I know we haven't done any of that for a while, uh, but we will, because uh, that's, and we need to, really. We need to get out and and do some more looting and stuff to get more items. Uh, I'm running low on things like, um, you know, sewing kits, for example, for armor and whatnot. So that is the plan, but we have to get this horde base ready. And, and the cool thing about it is once we do have this horde base ready, um, you know, then it's good to go. And I won't have to spend so much time, you know, trying to get ready for it. We'll just use it, repair it at the, you know, the next morning. And then we have the whole week to go have fun and do stuff. So that's the plan. Okay, let's run down here really quick. And um, we'll get the... Uh, whatever steel I currently have made. And let's also, uh, you know what? I, I don't need any more cement right now. I've got that stuff coming out my ears. So let's just keep these guys going with forged steel. And you, oh, you're out of iron, right. Okay, so I need to go uh, mine some more iron. You can see that both of these forges are completely packed full with clay. Uh, but I need to go do yet more iron mining. <laughs> I've done so much iron mining, it's crazy. And along with, you know, oil shale and, and clay, digging up clay, all that sort of stuff. But, you know, again, this we're, we're just doing all this hard work now, but once it's all done and in place, then we're good to go. All right, so let's get through our tunnel here. I'm thinking about widening in this, you know, one more. I mean, it works, right? We We can definitely get out the tunnel but it might be more useful to, to widen it one more level we'll see I just checked this trader gen so she doesn't have anything else for us at the moment okay we are here One Zomba Doodle over here. Let's dispatch him. Make sure they didn't call anybody else in. All right, I think we're okay. What I'd like to do here is fill in this hole. And I'm also going to put a um, storage bin up here that we can keep extra dirt in. Because what I'm going to do before the Horde Knight starts is I'm going to seal off this opening by just putting dirt over it. So the zombies, you know, don't even see it as a potential path at all. Because what I don't want them doing is going down this way and being on the other side of the explosion chamber. That would be no bueno. Plus, we're going to have stuff down there. Um, if I if I put that up one more block, will I still be able to reach it? Let's see. Let's just put that there. Okay, can I reach that uh, top block? Yes, I can. Okay, so we should be able to do that then. I just want it high up and out of the way, so it doesn't get destroyed, of course. And we'll just keep, um, we'll keep extra clay in there, and I probably, just in case I have a senior moment, which happens to me all the fucking time, uh, I should probably put a spare shovel in there. Oh yeah, we'll take that stuff. So, let's see, we're gonna need grass. Uh, no, we don't want a legendary. Uh, we just need some stone and grass. This is... Okay, there's grass. Well, a little bit of stone. Oh, we need five stone. Okay. And one more. At some point, we'll go get the loot out of that house just for the hell of it. Okay. How 
All right, so we'll keep that stuff in there. And please tell me that I didn't leave my nail gun home. Oh, crap, there's a bear. Oh, I can't believe it. I left my nail gun at home. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, shit, we need that. God damn it. Ah. Uh... Yeah, I mean, we need the nail gun like more than anything else right now. Okay, well, I guess I'm making another trip back home. Shit. See you guys in 10 years. Oh, I got a, a few magazines uh, to read, too, that we'll use the chess piece for, but I'm just dropping this stuff in there for now. Um, Do I have food? And drinking here? Uh, yeah, don't. Oh shit, we need that too. Oh, uh, here, let's do this then. Uh, we want to wear this. And then we'll read you. Tactical assault quality three and explosives. Okay. All right, let's go get some food real quick. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I showed this to you guys, but this oven has a couple of custom recipes, grilled mushrooms and grilled potato. Uh, they're not really all that awesome, though. Um, they're pretty low level, but it's kind of cool that they're there. So those are the ingredients that they come with. All right, I'll see you. Whoop, I'll see you back out at the horde base. Okay, we have our nail gun now. Um, instantly, I'm just waiting until I can make a legendary. Right now, I can only make a blue, and then I'll upgrade to a legendary nail gun. Uh, let's grab some of you and some of you. And we can still reach the crate. Okay, good. Good, good. Before we go down below, let's finish... Um, couple of things up here. There's two bears. I don't want messing with us. I think that's a little bear, right? Yeah, just a little one. Okay. Way easier to kill those guys than zombo bears. This is just a little mining spot for clay that I started. Oh, all right. Let's get you out of here, too. So first thing we want to do is we want to reinforce everything up above here, because if the above part fails, then we're fucked. Um, I don't think it will, but we're not taking any chances. I was able to pick up more steel, too, um, you know, on the trip back, so that was kind of the silver lining there. Uh, let's see, we got cobble. We're going to need some more concrete. Maybe. Um, okay, what I mostly want to do is I want these supports to all be steel and I want the part that I am uh, let's see let's make that ladder steel but underneath here let's actually go up oh I'm just gonna make oh shit I was gonna make iron doors for those two well I'll hopefully I'll remember and do that next time so I want the part where we're at, um, ladders and all, to be steel as well. At some point I might try a test and see if, um, you know, if we remove those, that bottom row of ladders. But I'm, I'm kind of apprehensive about doing that. 
because I think that is part of why they path the way that they do. Like they, they see these little rods as just stair steps right up to this ladder that I'm on. And I don't want to mess with that. So it's something I would probably have to do like in a test world or something to see um, if that made any difference, you know. Probably be easier for me to hit those down below. Okay, so um, ideally, I'd like to maybe have this whole section be steel, but I think I'm gonna hold off on that because we're gonna be using a hell of a lot of steel down below. So for this next horde, um, I think we'll we'll just go with this. But I will, assuming I remember, right? That's a big assumption. Um, upgrade those doors to iron and then I think we'll just run with this but eventually I'd like to get at least the third block up all the way around also to steel uh, because the taller Zeeks can sometimes hit up on the third block but otherwise everything up here is now repaired okay so let's go over to our entrance here and I want to bring all the cobble, several stacks of concrete. We've got all the steel already. We're not, we're going to do a little bit more digging, but nothing substantial. So I think I'm just going to keep the mining gear off for now. It might be useful though, actually to be wearing this just because of the XP gain for all the steel upgrading. Uh, what does this have on it? I should just make a another cigar and then have the cigar on here too because that gives us the strength buffs buff. But yeah, let's wear the nerd for now. All right, and then we're going to want um let's grab the wiring tool that stuff, the generator, the fence posts, the switches, and uh, we'll grab one stack of gasoline for the generator. I don't think it'll take all of that. It might, though. And you'll see, too, I've got four atom junkies for the Horde Knight, so we'll be ready to go with that. Okay, I don't think I need anything else from up here. Of course, if I do, we can always come up here and, and grab it. Let's head on down. Okay, so um, this is what I've got so far. So what I'm going to do is build, you know, these walls all the way up. So this is a completely enclosed um, shaft, right, for them to fall down. I'm not really going to worry about trying to repair all the damage they did outside of it. I don't think that's going to be important uh, because aside from, you know, minor damage that they might do on the way down, they're not really going to. You know, they're not going to cause any substantial damage on the way down, but it's going to be a minimum of five blocks up down below here that's going to matter um, for, you know, for demolisher explosions because they are going to explode. And because of that, I think I, I would also like to double line the first five blocks down here too. I don't have enough steel to do that. I, have, I, I should have enough concrete to do that, but I don't have enough steel to do that for this time around. So we'll just, you know, line the outer or the inner layer, the one that's facing the zombies with steel. And then, you know, the second layer will just be concrete and then we'll upgrade that later. Okay, so now the question that I want to figure out is where we really should ideally put the fence posts at least six blocks up from the ground. of So the demolishers and the cops for that matter. Don't damage them. Now, I'm not going to be able to repair the fence posts, right? Um, so they are eventually going to break before the night's over, but it's going to, until that does happen, um, it's going to give us way more crowd control of, of the zombs uh, and therefore less damage, right? So I think uh, based upon that, if we go one, two, three, 
four, five, six, and then start the fence posts. Maybe even just to be on the real safe side, maybe even go up one more block after that. And then we build like, you know, little platforms to put the fence posts in. I think that's what we'll do. I haven't actually planned this out ahead of time, so I'm making this up as I go. Um, all right, so based upon that, um, let's see here. I think, let's look at something. Okay, let's go up one more level. And if we look at our elevation, we're at 10. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up nine and 10. Okay. And then let's cut the passage this way. Is that, it's 11. You know what? 11's fine too. Having mean, even another block higher is not a bad thing at all. And then, let's see, we're going to, from this passage, we are one, two, three. Okay, we need to go back at least three blocks, which I think I already did. <coughs> one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, now we should be able to cut to the north. All right, now, uh, I don't remember off the top of my head how far you can set fence posts apart from each other. But, you know, we want them as far away from the chute as possible. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and... Give ourselves a platform here. I might want to um, make some stone to fill some of this part in. We'll see. We already have a, a, a natural platform here, so that's good. Didn't plan it that way, just kind of worked out that way. And even around to this side, too, we will. Um, in fact, these blocks need to come out. Because we'll be lining the wall in those spots. Let's make this a little wider. And then we'll have to create a platform going this way. Okay. Um, now, the next question is... Positioning of the posts. Let's widen that up a little more, too. I'm not going to upgrade any of these blocks until I, you know, have a better idea of where the posts themselves are going to be located. And then maybe we'll make, um, like a catwalk or something for them. Okay. So the plan is to crisscross them. So we'll have, have them going, we'll have four going north and south and four going east and west. So we kind of create a little net. Um, so if I, let's see, we are one, two, three blocks over on that side and 
three blocks over on this side. But I think if I go, we go a total of five blocks over on each side, that will um, also make sure that the fence posts are five blocks away from the wall in case a demo just happens to explode at this location, right? So what I want to do then is I want to see if I can do the little reach trick to make this work. So that should be five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll cut down. We'll put this here. And let's... Uh, can you pick fence posts up without a land claim block? I don't remember. If you can't, then we'll put a land claim block down temporarily. Temporarily. Yeah, see, it's not giving me the prompt, so... If I have to, to move it. Okay, so let's go over to this side. And, um... Grab this. Okay, so that should also be five blocks in. One, two, three... Four, five. Okay. All right. So if we connect to you and we come over here, okay, we're, we're red, but what we can do is if we just temporarily, in fact, yeah, you know what? Let's just temporarily build a floor here. This part, of course, will come out when we're done. Okay, so we'll connect to that one. And as long as we can get far enough to where this will register with that pole. Yeah, we're just a little too far. Oh, that sucks. Oh, we did it. Okay. So we don't actually need the prompt. We just need to be far enough for it to work. Okay, that's beautiful. Because that way here again, we're protecting the fence posts both vertically and horizontally with this setup. Okay, good. Let's get the rest of them in, but I do, once again, want to make sure I can get them all in before I upgrade. I'll upgrade this to concrete once I'm, I confirm I, get, I can get them all hooked up. I should be able to, but let's just make sure, right? One, two, three. Oh, you know what? I didn't make enough fence posts. I'm, I'm going to need another eight. Okay, well, we can do that. There's some iron there. Okay. Catch to you. And then... Oh, yeah, that's... Oh, oh no, no, no. I don't want to connect them like that. I want to connect each one individually. It's not a good idea to ever connect these in series because, you know, it's like the Christmas tree light effect, right? If you break one, then they all go kaput. Oh, that works even better. You don't have to be anywhere near as close as I was the first time. As long as you're aiming at it. Cool. Okay, I think we can safely upgrade these. Okay, so... Um, now that we have confirmed that that works, I'm going to dig out um, five blocks to the north and south, but then I'm going to have to go back home and get the rest of the fence post. But what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to I'm going to do you know get it all dug out and get the blocks in place, 
and kind of figure out, you know, what our pathway is going to be down here too. We're going to need to make uh, room for a generator. Um, I did bring some switches with me. So uh, I could run a switch all the way up to the top. I could even put the generator up at the top. Well, if I put the generator up at the top, we don't need a switch. The thing is, though, is I don't know how well I can protect it. I did, you know, I did put that the generator back at the tower base upside down on the bars, and it would take damage from vultures. So I'll, I, I will give that some thought, and when I figure out how I'm going to do that, I'll let you guys know. So I'll be back in a bit. All right, guys, it is the next morning. And uh, so we're back with more stuff here. Uh, let's throw all of that in there. I bought um, I bought some more stuff from, from Jen. Um, one thing I can't actually do yet, I don't think. At least last time I checked, I wasn't able to do it. Oh, shit. I can make those now. Damn it, Jim. I must have just recently unlocked that. Okay. Well, um, I was thinking I, I, I couldn't, uh, nope, wrong thing, that I couldn't make those, but apparently I can. So I've got four iron doors, so let's get those upgraded. I don't think these really need to be, um, steel doors, so iron should be fine. Got a lot of zombies around, don't want them dropping down on my head while I'm working. Put your head back up. There we go. There's a ball sack over here. I want to wait till we can get a headshot off on him. Quiet snake. Gonna turn around, dude? Alright, you know what? Fuck you. I don't have time for this. We get him? Yeah. Okay. We got all those doors upgraded. Um, let me just quickly hit these down here too. I was trying to do it up above earlier and I couldn't reach the ones on the side very well so much easier to do that from here yeah shoot I, I should have obviously <laughs> should have checked to see if I could make those relays I just assumed I still couldn't because the last time I checked I couldn't but you know obviously we've read more uh, magazines since then That one, too. Okay, so I think all these little poles here are now upgraded. Uh, let's get that out of the way. I want to clean a little bit more of this shit up, too. Just so we have a clearer path through here. That should be good. All right, let's go down. And I made eight more fence posts to finish this out. And I also, I, I couldn't remember how many connections <clears throat> you can make to a single generator. So because I didn't bring relays with me, I just built another generator. I mean, they're really cheap. And, um... And so, you know, if we can't do a total of eight, then we'll just have to use two Jennies for now. I mean, okay, what does it take to make a workbench? I don't want to go all the way back to the base. Um, 
What am I missing? I'm missing duct. Well, I'm missing duct tape and nails. Okay, no, I'm not screwing with that right now. Okay, so let's put these fence posts in. And we'll do our connection from this side. So it'll be the south and the west sides that will connect to the generators. And, you know, as, as I think I probably demonstrated during the last horde, we don't even really need to do this, but it's just extra protection um, for the for the base itself. We keep the damn zombos stunned, and they're not going to be doing damage while they're stunned. That's kind of really the whole point here. Okay, good. Um, Now... We want the generator to be somewhere over in this vicinity. And assuming I can connect all eight of these. Um, let's see here. So we're one, two, three blocks in. One, two, three. Let's go back a couple more to here. And we'll carve ourselves out a little generator room here. Uh, okay, so let's stand here. There we go, okay. I want to make sure I don't hit the fence post, of course. Yeah, get, get back here on the stone. Now I really wish I had the relays with me, damn it. Damn it, Jim. I mean, I could go back and get him. It's just going to be a pain in the ass. All right, let's actually start... From here so at least we know where we're at and then we should be able to come back this way yep good all right so the idea here now is to put the generator in this corner and Plug that up. Yeah, let's actually put it up on the wall there. Well, you know what, though? If I don't, I don't think I want it to be right in the stone. You know, doing this... Oh, shit. If I set this down, is this going to break my land claims back at the base? Because if it does, that that could cause repops. Um, Do I have any more active land claims back over here? I do. Fuck. I can't... I can't un... Uh, disable that from here either. Okay, I'm going to just have to leave it here for now. Um, in fact, I'm probably going to redo this anyways w with relays. But, you know, and well, I'll have to go back to the forest base at some point and disable that land claim because I do not want the ones at our house to be disabled because that could be a big problem. <laughs> we got to make sure that those stay active at all costs. So here's what we're going to do. Um, I don't know, like I said, if it'll let me attach eight connections then oh then we're golden if it doesn't then we'll just have to hook up two generators and that's not a not a big deal but just would rather not have to do that because then we have 
two generators that we have to mind, but not the end of the world if that does end up being the case. And the nice thing about the game now, too, is that these wires um, are invisible when you don't have the wiring tool. Not the electric fence wires, but the actual wires themselves. Uh, it never used to be that way, so that's really cool that it does that now. All right, let's just see if it's going to let me do eight. That would be amazing if it does. Ah, it's gonna nice. Okay, so you can have a, uh, up to eight connections, maybe even more. I don't know. Very good. So, the more permanent setup to this would be that I would enclose the generator in a concrete little concrete shack and use relays to run the wiring neatly. Um, I mean that's typically <laughs> how I would do it. I don't know with them being invisible like that though. Maybe it's. Not really worth the effort. I don't know. Anyway, okay, so I think this is good to go. I think this is good to go. Um, we just need to... Here, let's um, let's fill this up. Oh, I forgot engines. Shit. <laughs> Can't take me anyway. God damn it. Uh, okay, well, I guess the upside of that is, once again, going back to the base means we can make relays. Because what I would do then in that case is I'd put a, I'd put a relay right here, and then you know just run the wires, and then likewise do the same thing over here. And you know obviously dig this out and put concrete blocks in there. I wonder if there's a way I could. Put um, actually you know what if this destroys this generator, it's not that big of a deal because they're cheap, and easy. But, uh, yeah, yeah, we're good. Okay. I just, like I said, I don't want that on the raw stone itself. Just, okay, that's better. So what I'll do then is I'll, I'll go get, uh, you know, go back to the base and get the engines that we need. And then we'll cut a hole right here. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's, I don't like the fact that it's in this gravel. Yeah. Okay. Trying to be careful not to accidentally upgrade these to steel. Then we pop a relay here and then just fan out to each one of the fences. And then we'll do the same thing, of course, over here. Um, actually, I'd like that closer to the Ginny. Not that it really matters, but... Okay, good. As far as the platform here goes, um, I think I'm just not going to... Well, what I might do is I might make some stone. I, I, I was going to actually do this, but I forgot to. And then remove all these blocks and just fill it in with stone, just more for aesthetics than any other reason. I know I could also just upgrade the blocks to wood and be, be okay with that too, but for the for aesthetic reasons, I think we'll do that. Okay, so now um, all of these blocks can be picked back up. And what I will do then is start just start building them up all the way around, all the way up to the, you know, till we reach the, the top there. And now these are all going to be concrete except for the first five blocks down below. And if I still have enough steel after that, I might even go up six blocks just as an extra precaution. Uh, I can grab that one later, I suppose. Um, yeah, we don't even really need to get out there anymore, actually, now. Because I built the, the tunnels. The, I guess the only... Thing we sh okay, if we're gonna do that, let's 
Let's actually build an access through here too, so we can get around the whole thing if we need to, without you know having to put more blocks down. Right, okay, so we can move around through there if we need to. And then likewise. We'll come over here and... Oh, wait a minute. No, I don't need an access behind there. I'm not... I'm being stupid. Let's just patch those back in. But here we want one. I need iron. Think about maybe mining that iron out at some point. Okay, so that allows us to get around the whole thing without having to cross over the middle here. So we'll pull these all back up. Um, all right, since I'm not going to remove this, let's go ahead and at least fuel it. So that's done. And we should probably also, um, let's go ahead and put a, whoops. Put a storage crate in behind there for the extra fuel. And I'm gonna I'm just gonna upgrade that to iron, not steel, but you know, just to make it tougher, not because I need the extra space, of course. Okay, good. So the only thing I need to do down here is go is bring a couple of relays and just rewire these. And I will, you know, I'll I'll do that before the Horde Knight starts off camera. Um, let's head back down now to here. And what we wanna do is just start building, building this all up. And I think after we get the first a few blocks in. Um, what I'll probably do, you know, once it, it gets so high that I can't reach it, is I'll probably just pull up right in the center and, you know, just pull up and then just keep going around the wall like so until, until we eventually get all the way to the top. But, I'm hoping that I have enough steel. So we got 1,279, but that's going to go fast to upgrade to the first five blocks here. Um, so, oh, I got to make a, a vault door too. And then, I'm, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig out behind here and I'm going to double align this chamber, you know, five blocks up from here too and fill that in. But, most likely that second wall will just be concrete because um, I don't think I have enough steel uh, to get that done. All right, so let's go ahead and steal this doorway. That's three, and then we want to go up two more. <clears throat> so that's as high as we'll go with the steel. Unless, like I said, I, I feel like I have enough after I, I do that, and then I'll, I'll go up one more for good measure. Put those in there. We'll just do this, the doorway wall first. Okay. And especially, you know, now that we're doing this with, with steel, and we've got this um, XP hat on, this nerd hat. Um, we might even get the next level doing this. All right. 
right, cool. Uh, so we still have 439 left, uh, which means we should be able to do 43 more blocks. So why don't we go ahead and go six high. Just as an extra precaution. This is probably not necessary, but I'm doing it anyways. Uh, we need to make some more building blocks. Um, we're going to need a lot. Let's make, say, 500, because i got to go got to go all the way up there. But everything after this sixth block, of course, is just going to be concrete. Okay, that still leaves us 279 steel, um, which we're going to need, of course, to make the vault door. <clears throat> and then, <coughs> excuse me, everything else will, like I said, just be concrete on the way up. And I'm going to do that off camera because that's going to take a while. Um, but like I said, I'll just nerd pull up from the center and just keep working my way around until I eventually get all the way up to the top there uh, or, you know, to the underneath side of what's already in place. So what remains now down here is just to, you know, double up the the blocks. But the, the outer blocks, of course, will just be concrete. And then I'll finish this wall here. I'll go back to the base. I'll make a vault door to plug in here. Uh, I might even make this a double vault door. We'll see. And of course, if I do, then the frame for that will also be steel. Um, and if I didn't already mention it, uh, go make a couple of relays and redo the wiring. And then I think we're good. I think we're ready to go. So, yeah. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here and finish this base. And then if everything goes well... Hopefully we'll have uh, day 69 uh, or at least the day time of day 70 to go out and, and, and do some, some quests because we haven't, we haven't gone out and done that and I need to uh, both because it's fun but also because I actually need some supplies um, from you know that we're going to get by doing that. So that's the tentative plan for the next episode and of course if that changes I will let you all know. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.